All right, time for the gearbox assembly. Last time we, or previously, we assembled the, the shafts that will go into this housing. And now we will start off by putting these uh, in this groove and that has to be done from the inside. And we can't remove them or we can't assemble them once we get the shaft in place. So this is good to do now. So let's flip it. Still quite hot. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, down in the hole. So the parts will go there. So I'm now touching the table. So we'll have to put them there. We had the uh, housing in the oven for maybe an hour, give or take, mm -hmm. on about 150 degrees Celsius. Okay, let's see what we have cooking here. Smells good. We hope that that will allow us to just more or less drop the bearings or the shaft assemblies with, with the bearings into the bearing housings Yeah, without using any pressing force. You can see here, so here's the, the where the bearing will, will sit. So that's the idea we want to heat up this, this part as to be as just said. And then we thought it better to, to heat up the entire Entire piece instead of just pot heating it since it's cast iron, so we don't crack it. Yeah, because cast iron is quite sensitive to to heat changes. Yeah. Okay, now let's flip it back over so it just so that you can see what we did. So now we have these here. And then the spindle will connect, connect to these. So here we see the oops. Here we see that we have grooves or holes, dents, whatever you call it, uh, similar on the other side. So we need to align align those dents with the with the threads, so that we can lock it into place later. Yeah. And just for show, I put it with a, a small marker with a pencil so that we know where it should be. Yep. So we get an indication. Mm. Let's see. Okay. Let's more marker here also. Oh my god. Silky smooth like that a glove. Was, that was satisfying. And the holes are lined. Oh. Well, that went better than expected, but good. <laughs> Absolutely. Let's see, now we have the locking pins. The, satisf the satisfaction of uh, assembling cleaned parts is Yes, it's quite nice. Let's grab a smaller. 
All right. Well done. Still spinning. Still spinning. Really nicely. Satisfying. Time for the next shaft assembly. Yes. So I think we need to flip it. Or I don't think we need to flip it. And now it was close that that one f fell in. Oh. Let's see if we can pick it out. Mm -hmm. All right, good. And on this one we have the greasing channel. Yes. So here you can see that one. Yep. And here's the, the bearings that we pressed in. I don't know if that's visible, but... So this housing should be filled with, with an oil, oil or grease. Let's mm. check that. What, which one is this? But here we have the greasing nipple. Yes. I think that one looks like a more like a grease than oil. Yeah, I think so too. Well, we should put a little bit of oil on that one. Just a, a thin layer of it, and I think that would will help it. Let's see, let that in this direction. Like so. There we have it. Assembled. Assembled. On to the next one. Okay. We now moved on to the table for the for the all the milling table. So let's start off with assembling the gear gears here, and we I think we have all parts here. So it's just to get cracking, so to say. Have new bearings. I think. This one is for the this and then we have one should go there. there. Yes, and then we have this one that goes. Brand new. Yes, on the one here. Now I don't remember what brand the bearings have, but should be quality, quality brand. Yes, at least I ordered that, so I didn't want any any foreign brands. Sealed well. And we have these two that will come here. So, so I think we're in with these. Just have a quick wipe down. I have an oil drag here, so we get a thin film of oil on the sprockets. Like so.
Good. I like new. Ooh. Real smooth. Yes. Then I think the next step will be. Is it? Maybe it is then this one. No, I think we need to turn the table for that. So maybe we should just assemble this completely so we can seal it and then we can flip the table yeah. and push that one in. Yeah, I think, yeah, yeah, that's a better idea. Okay, let's see if we can flip this without dropping these. And we'll put it like this so you guys can see also. So that's the next one. Then we have the shaft. This one, and then one locking washer. So, let's just put a little bit of oil on that one also. Should should come in this way. Like so. Let's see. I think it's better if we just put this one in place first. Is it anything you need to consider here with the screw? Mm, we have the oil. Oh, nipple hair, yes, so I good. Need to good notice. Yeah. I actually saw a co cool trick for cleaning uh, threads that yeah. we could show sometime. You just need uh, like electrical ah, yes, I saw pliers. That one. Yeah, and I saw that one. It's quite fast. Yeah, and then you just use a drill or a impact wrench or anything then. and. Clamp down on threads, cleans, cleans them right off. Oh, one that needs a bit extra convincing. one. Oh, okay. So now we have the hub there and I think we'll continue with the shaft. Let's put 
S R There she goes. It should be, and then I put a. Maybe I'll put it in place first, like so. And then I'll put the the locking ring on. That one's not in place. I think we can just yes. Then it should be this one. see it but Like so, and then the locking washer on that one also. Just a small difference, but yeah. <laughs> uh, Brain part. <laughs> Just putting a little bit of oil on that one, like so. There's no that for no. Another brain part. This one should be. Yes. Last screw also. All right, great. For the next uh, year, 
we'll move over to the press since this is a press fit on here. Yeah, let's move to the press. Yeah. All right, let's see if we'll get this to work. Put on the bearings first. Let's see if this is clean. So, I'm gonna put this one in there. And that spins freely. I'm gonna put this one over just to get a bit of oil on there. Check so we don't so we don't press on the bearings. Let's see. That will work. Mm. Just put a little bit of Vaseline just to get it. That's enough. And I think that prevents it from, from falling. Yep. And we're level at the table. So, nice, nice. Then the remaining thing is to put the locking ring in just to keep this, this gear in place. So let's move over to the table again. Okay, so now for the main locking ring or retainer. Just align the holes. Huh? Be in place. Yeah, and Matthias has a torque wrench built yes. into his elbow, so it's... I think it was 15 Newton meters, yeah. or oh, maybe 10, something yeah. like that, for these. Still spins freely. I call that a success. I also. Perfect. Perfect. Next up, we'll continue with the gearbox. And a few episodes back, we, we removed this shaft. And just to replace the bearings, so now I have new, new bearings for that. And uh, last time we took it this way, towards the inside, but I'm thinking maybe we would put it from the other side. 
because I don't think that will have a big effect. So let's begin by putting this bearing onto the shaft and see, let's see how we can fit it into the housing. I think we'll have to move over to the to the press. Back to the table. Okay, now we have the shaft with the new, newly assembled, be assembled bearing. And I'll just thread it in. That should. Like so. I think we can put the cap on. Ah, oh, then we need some some grease. Yep. Put on some gasket. Like so. Yes. Let's put uh, so this one is down. So To adjust the torque setting again. Yeah, click. Good. Okay, we forgot to press record, but uh, we also pressed in this bearing. Yeah. We came to the conclusion, so we had a, could press it easily and actually went quite, quite smoothly. Then once we got over this first part, I think there was some 
I mean, some just minor minor burrs on the mm. on the shaft. So I think that's that's quite good, and it rolls rolls really smoothly and nicely. Yes. So last off, the locking washer. Which snapped in place. Excellent. Excellent.